Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a 1v1 match that I played versus He Hate Me on 2000 Atmospheres, the latter edition. The bottom left, it is He Hate Me. And in the top right, it is Falcon Pally. <laughs> I say, good luck, have fun. He says, okay. And I'm like, He Hate Me is the name of a football player. So I alt tabbed out and Googled the name. And it was Rod Smart. So I said, hey, what's up, Rod? <laughs> ah, and he responds, congrats. I know you're really old. Yes, indeed, I am. Yeah, I say, pretty darn old. And this is going to be a Reaper expand. My overlords are checking for proxies, but the barracks is coming up inside the main base. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm old, or I have Google. <laughs> Or maybe both. Who knows these days, right? Probably both. Both is what we're looking at. So, 16, 18, 17 here. You have too much time, says he hate me. Well, that's also probably true. He seems very angry. If you Googled me. So, Rod Smart played at Western Kentucky for college. He was like a thousand yard rusher. Average six yards of carries last season with the team was very good. Ended up playing for the uh, Las Vegas Outlaws in the now defunct XFL. If you're old enough to remember the XFL, you're pretty old these days. I had a good career. It was fine. He hate me. He didn't do a whole lot in the XFL. He did end up playing for the Chargers and for the NFC Champions Panthers. Or AFC Champions Panthers back in like 2003 or something. So stuck around for a while. Didn't do a whole lot statistically after college, but that's okay. Bounced around the NFL. He, back in the XFL, you could choose your name to put on the back of your jersey, right? So he chose He Hate Me. There's a whole long story about it on Wikipedia, and if you want to look at it, you can. But yeah, Rod Smart, he's our guy. So going for that Reaper, expand a Rooney. Actually building the command center inside the main base. Kind of too worried about a pool first, I guess, maybe, to throw this down on the low ground. I don't know what he's doing that way, but... Yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty happily sitting on two bases now. I got my queen started. Got my speed on the way. I'm pulling workers off gas. Gonna have one worker on gas with my timing for the lair is uh, ready to go here. Sending this overlord out to check for proxies as well. Not much finding anything by that way because there's nothing to find. But I do see the Reaper coming in. So I'm like, okay, cool. Little Reaper shenanigans. This Reaper's name is gonna be Leroy Jenkins. After being kicked out of his raid group in the beginning of the 20th century, Leroy Jenkins changed his name to Ledroy and decided he was too legendary to be fit for planet Earth. The Central Intelligence Agency caught wind of Ledroy's realization and quickly abducted and enrolled him into the AAA Reapers University. Reap what you sow. After completing his training with nearly perfect grades, Leroy was ready to take on any alien menace he's sure to find as well as any Terran force that stands in his way. He says, why? And my queen is late getting over here and the lings are late to respond to this too and he gets a drone kill. And then he's too smart to jump into the natural base where I have more lings and queens ready for him. So Reaper hops on out, escapes. Got two kills, actually. My bad. He's got two drone kills there. Horrible defense from Falcon here. Just embarrassing stuff. But I got a third base rolling. That's nice. My drone count is at 27 now. Why must you have skins? Now, here's the thing. I don't know that I roll with skins. I do? Aren't these regular Zerglings? I don't know. You, you're you Zerglings, he says. And the Reaper tries to bait these guys out a little bit. And I almost kill him, but then I run out. Nah, let's not lose any more Lings. Let's not lose any Lings at all here. So, Natural Lace has landed for He Hate Me. His harassment game is pretty on point at this point. So far, pretty standard TVZ. Gonna go for Widow Mines and a Starport. So Widow Mine drop opening as though I am a Protoss opponent. He hate me doing some weird stuff here. We got Hellion, got Marine. This is pretty Baneling bustable. A lot of the times I do like to try to Baneling bust against Terrans, but they have like four to five to eight Hellions and they just shut it down. But in this situation where it's Widow Mines, which actually is not bad against a Baneling bust, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. But I was trying to macro this thing. I was like, okay, let's just try to go, you know, three base, get the lair up, get a fourth base in here eventually, get my gases rolling, upgrade to lair, get upgrades for lings and banelings, get extra gases taken, just trying to macro as hard as I can at the moment. And just making lings with extra larva on my worker count seems pretty good. It's at 31 right now, which is not amazing, but fine. My injects are not on point, as they never are. They're never as good as I'd like them to be, but, you know, we're making 
We're, we've got injects rolling on all three of these bases. It's just a matter of getting them on time and not having them late. And so there's extra energy on your queens, right? So getting started with 1-1 one, one here pretty quickly at about 5 minutes. I'm fairly happy about that. My Overlord's in a position to see if anything's coming across the map, but does not see the Reaper coming up the right side. And where's my fourth base at? Usually by about 6 minutes, 6.5 minutes, I like getting a fourth base here against someone who hasn't actively tried to kill me yet, right? So he hit me at 32 workers, tossing some mules down. Income looking pretty good for him with those mules, mules, obviously. And then I overrun and kill the Reaper. Goodbye, Ledroy Jenkins. Or Leadroy Jenkins. However I'm supposed to pronounce that. Bailing nest on the way. A little bit late. I don't think I had enough gas initially to toss that down when I made the lair. That's usually the timing I want there. So Bailing nest is late on my side, which is not exactly what you want to do. Supply block here on He Hate Me. At 62 out of 62 available supply. In injects are swinging all around the place. And the Widow Mines drop. And I do kill one, and luckily that didn't kill anything more than maybe one drone, and then this person backs out. That one gets a few kills. Six kills there, and I think those were maybe all drones, which is bad. And there's another attack. Bam! Four kills on that one. And the medevac does not come around to try to pick this up because that doesn't have any HP and is hoping the queen doesn't wander over this way to pick it off, and in fact the queen does not. So, I'm pretty happy about my creep spread thus far. It's not bad. I've got three lanes going right side, mid side, and left side. About six and a half minutes, I said, on that fourth base. Isn't that what I said? I believe around this time I intended to send a drone down to expand there, but either I missed or I clicked on something wrong, and then I got really caught up in the Widow Mine drops, which is the intent is to throw me off my game, and then I just never tossed it down. The good news is that He Hate Me is on two bases and doesn't have a third base, and, um,. Doesn't have a third CC either. So he's two basin. He's really focusing on the harassment, which can kind of mess up your macro if you're a Terran player. Overlord doesn't have speed. And I'm like, oh, I recognize that. Let's get speed. So I start speed, try to run my Overlord away. Can he survive? I'm also getting an infestation pit. Still have not taken the space at seven minutes, which I'm very displeased about. I definitely should have. Floating about 800 minerals and 900 gas right now at the seven minute mark. If I had another hatchery, that'd be useful, but. More lings, Bane's coming in, some difficult hooks getting started. Am I starting the 2-2? Soon! Soon I'm going to start the 2-2. This medevac thinks about moving out and then takes another a very weird path. Where? So up here, then back around, and I don't know what he hate me is doing exactly here. He's Well, he's getting concussive shell, he's getting infernal pre-igniter for his hellions, which is awesome against Zerg, and I hate it, it's very strong. There we go, 2-2 getting started. Superficial hooks finishing. I always feel a lot better when Baneling speed is done. I just feel like Baneling's being able to respond to stuff and surround things and get hits off on fast stuff is amazing. And it is. Creep spread continuing. Look at me continuing to push out creep spread here too. This is pretty nice. Creep spread is actually a little bit intimidating for here. hate me, I believe. And drop it inside the main base. My laser coming in. They got plus one, plus one. So I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I send my whole army up because that's the kind of guy I am. And then the Hallians just cruise in to the third base and start murdering all of my drones. So my worker loss here is 22 at this point. And I do re-angle my lings to make sure these Hellions die, which is nice. Okay, that's awesome. I have a ginormous army. And I'm like, okay, I could probably kill a third base with the number of lings that I have. So I run down and try to see if there's a third base here. And there's not, actually. There's not one here either because he hate me is on two bases. And, uh, yeah, so this is... Diamond level, maybe not diamond one, is what we're learning here today. But, yeah, he hit me really focusing on the harassment side of things. And I'm like, ooh, because they got a siege tank back there, got widow mines, I saw those coming. And I'm like, can I bust this? Can I get these widow mines to trigger? Look at me using an overseer in oversight mode. That's one of my new tricks I picked up. In oversight mode. So I try to send a ling in to trigger a widow mine, but like... It doesn't, that's not going to work. So I'm like, whatever, face smash, go. Meanwhile, so it's happening in my main base. So I do manage to bust in, but that Widow Mine hit was massive. The Widow Mines do die, but there's not enough of my stuff left there to deal with it. What the heck was happening up here that I totally did not see? Further back? Yeah, further back. So I'm setting up here, and then he, oh. He just wanders a widow mine up here in range of my spore, and my queen kills it after it hits. Oh, it gets four drone kills though, not too bad. 
And then this Widowmine tries to wander down too. So while he's defending the Bailing Bus, he's also wandering Widowmines around. Which, all right. Yeah, that was not. 4,000 resources lost to 1,900. I am not doing well on that front at all. And then that Widowmine dies because my Lings are looking awesome. I got that plus one. They're working on plus two. I've got a Hive on the way. I finally have my fourth base down, but there's a Widowmine in here. Gonna cause me all sorts of problems. I have spores in every other base, but not in this fourth base. And he hate me still on two bases. So yeah, this is um, this is definitely, again, not Master's level, not Diamond 1 level. It's just me sloppily trying to macro my way through this game and going for a very ill-advised Baneling bus that really doesn't do as much as I needed it to. And in fact, just caused me to lose a lot of Zerglings. 79 Lings down. Blah, only five Marines have died today. Seven Hellions and seven... Widow mine. So yeah, I haven't killed a lot of stuff, and I've definitely lost a lot of stuff. The good news is I do have more bases, and I think oh, I told this drone to build a spore, but then it couldn't because I think another drone was in the way, so it just gave up. Instead of I don't know, maybe trying again, you dumb thing. So ow, there's 12 kills on that widow mine. Widow mine is a good unit, everyone. So these aliens are cruising around, and I'm like, well, I can handle this. And then it's blue flame, and I'm like, oh. Okay, well, never mind. I almost got a surround there, but I backed out before he could fire on me again. Recognizing kiting blue flame hellions are pretty good against the lings, even if they're on creep. So working on adrenal glands. As soon as my hive finished, I got that adrenal started. I got the 3-3 three, three started. Feeling very happy about that. Got an ultraless cavern down, because I was like, ultras are just good in general. I don't know if those guys are rallied there, but that is some pretty sloppy stuff, too. So hellions cruising around. Like, oh, if you're not going to have any, uh, then my lings are like, can I get, and then I back out again before another attacking start. So I'm doing pretty good micro at this stage. And I was like, no, that's not good. And then he Hellbat transforms in there too. So I'm like, I need some Banelings. I haven't made any more Banelings since those ones that I lost during my Baneling bust. That's not great. So the Hellbats buy, you know, buy me some time by killing this extractor, which is fine. And a couple drones go down here too, and then... The Lings sacrifice themselves a little bit. And I have my queen try to assist. And then the Banelings happen. And then they die. But that was oof, that was way too much work for what it was worth. I'm making two Ultralisks. I'm getting Chitinous Plating for them. That's going to be fully upgraded Ultras here. Versus what are we working with on bio upgrades? Um, zero, zero. With Combat Shield and... And, um... And Stim? Yeah. Combat Shield, Stim, and Concussive Shell. So it's kind of this weird hybrid Hellion tank, Marine Marauder thing. He doesn't have all the upgrades he probably wants. He's working on transformation servos, which is a little bit interesting. I've got some Ling Bane Ultra up here at 12 minutes. Happy about that. Not maxed out. Not happy about that. My worker count's only 54. I've lost 36 drones so far, and replacing them has been a bit of a struggle for me. I'm, I'm doing a fairly good job with my drone count, trying to get it up again. I'm at 57. These lings are like, can we get a surround on you? Uh, nah, we're just going to let them go. We're going to maybe pre-determine pre you're coming here and defend that. But doing a pretty good job killing creep tumors. These hellions are. So not bad control here from he hate me. APM 172 for him, 156 for me. I'm getting anabolic synthesis right now. Got a lot of ling bane ultra with gosh darn full upgrades too. These are ultras and lings and mains with 3-3. Kind of plating. I mean... And again, not interested in chasing too far. Recognizing the timing on that second attack. But see, the creep I've got up this way is allowing me to see this attack coming in. This is the importance of creep spread. It's always been a thing, but it continues to remain insanely important. So I'm going to throw up six Ultralisks, which are not going to finish in time for this attack. And he kind of lines out his army this way, and I don't know. I'm like, well, I guess maybe we jump in there before the tank siege up. Wings with Adrenal and really good upgrades are doing amazing work here. And then the Ultras are doing fine. They do take down a couple tanks. The Marines, again, are 0-0 zero, zero upgrade Marines. Just kidding, they have 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one upgrade Marines are just not going to do very well against fully upgraded Ultras, as we can say here. A round of reinforcing Zerglings show up. That Ultralisk has 21 kills. And he, hate me, throws up a lull. Army supply is 79-27 to 27 right now. So I roll right into He Hate Me's third base, which I assume is here. I'm not sure I've actually scouted that yet. And I do take down a bunch of SCVs. So SCV kill count is now uh, nine, which is good. Going to kill these. Not really not going to push into the main base, although you know, I probably should have. Although Liberators start popping out now. 
So I'm going to get some Banelings, replace the ones that I lost during that defense. Well, oh, there's still a Widow Mine down here with no kills. What? How does that Widow Mine have zero kills? Maybe it's new. I don't know. But I'm at 156 to 102 supply. 99 to 58 army supply. Huge advantage. Massive advantage. Do I have anything that can shoot up at all? The answer is no, and I'm backing out. Look at me letting him get time. Letting he hate me set up, get more Liberators, make another round of Widow Mines. If I had just gone, I think I probably could have killed every SCB in this natural base, but I decided to go around the long way and try to attack into a base that I know exists down here at the 6 o'clock, which, again, not the greatest choice. His production tab is running. Mine's like 14 more Banelings, I guess. It's like we need more Banes here. That's what we need. Ah, hindsight is 2020. So he's heading up with a drop. He's really managed to catch up an army supply here. 103 to 91 now. Remember when it was double for me like 10 seconds ago? That is how this game can go. So I was like, well, all right, you're going to scout my attempt to get a fifth base up here. So I'm going to shut that down. But just bringing my entire army over this direction. And he's heading home to defend. And I was like, well, I guess we're going. If there's a lot of his army in those medevacs. Then let's go. So we're just going to go ahead and Bailing bust through here. Brrrr. And then Ling's rolling in, getting a surround on everything. This is just not enough bio to handle. <laughs> oh my gosh, this much Zerg. So everything dies. I don't bring any Overseers, so the Widow Mines are doing great. Liberators are really a godsend at the moment. They do amazing against Ultras. Look at this Ultra list. Dying. And I'm trying to keep the Ultras out of the range of the Liberators as much as I can while killing as many SCVs as I can. But the Liberator setup thing is going very nicely with the Transformation Servo upgrade. It's very fast. I've just I've got Ultras in here and I'm trying to come out and kill some more SCVs. And I've killed a bunch. 26 SCVs have died. Marauders are getting hacked away here too. But this Ultra let's go down after getting 7 kills. Siege Tent Fire takes him down. And these Widow Mines are in here too. Which I don't see again because I don't have any zero Overseers. Who cares about Widow Mines, baby? Lings, I got an Ultra Lisk in somewhere. So Siege Tank down, pull, full evacuation, but so many Lings coming in. Not enough Lings to do that, but some Friendly Fire Widow Mine Splash is a little bit problematic. I try to make sure maybe the, if this fourth base goes down, he hit me he's only at 31 SCVs right now. 31 SCVs. I'm going to try to kill some of these mules. There we go. One mule goes down before they get dragged in to the rest of that army. 42 to 75 army supply right now. He has a massive army supply lead, but I also have a 62 to 31 worker lead and a bunch more bases. I have not fully saturated this right side. Fifth base, yes. Yet, I'm thinking about taking a sixth base, I think, at this point, and I probably should have, but I was hoping maybe to do some more damage here. So, nine drones at a time in production. I'm gonna get up to that wonderful 70 worker count way, 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 way later than I should. And he he's doing all the right stuff against Ling Bane Ultra. Right? He's got Marauders, right? He's got Liberators. He's got Widow Mines. That, these are things that are very good against Ling Bane Ultralisk. He knows what he's doing. Got Creep Spread pushing down this way too, which is super annoying because he can't land his third base again, which is definitely my plan. Make sure that doesn't happen. Going to make some more Banelings. Got some Ultralisks here. Got some Lings rolling down from all over the place. Rallying. Oh, I just kind of A-moved him in, didn't I? So Lings are absorbing Widow Mine shots and Liberator shots, so the Ultras are squeaky clean here and then coming in for another attack on the fourth can i get any of these oh my gosh any of these scvs kind of not really i'm like let's not attack into the liberator marauder set of great positioning there from he hate me and then just kind of casually trying to kill whatever i can Hellbats aren't much of a concern but man these liberator strikes are big i was like well maybe i can kill a missile turret no i can't so many ultras have died so far 19 ultras have died 24,000 to 16,000 resources lost. Absolutely brutal. What do mine have any kills? Nope, still has zero kills. Finally saturating this fifth base. Good heavens. And I'm pretty sure I intended to take a sixth base. Once again, I don't think the drones listened to me when I told them to do the thing. So he hate me is up 73 to 40 army supply, but he's down 78 to 16 in worker count. He's lost 46 SCVs thus far. And he's not doing the greatest job replacing them. He's making two at a time, which is fine. I really shouldn't say he's not doing the greatest time. But if I just added some corruptors to this composition, like there's a, there's no anti-air here. There aren't any marines. There's hellbats and liberators and tanks and marauders. I guess the widow mines are a concern. But if I just threw down a spire sometime in the last two minutes and just made some a handful of corruptors dealing with these liberators, it would have been a lot easier in some of these engagements. So yeah, I recognize that 
he has an army advantage, but I also know that I have a, uh, a worker advantage and an income advantage. So expand down here to the Rich Vespine Gas Base, which I've never done in my entire life, is expand to a Rich Vespine Gas Base, because the games usually don't go that long. Coming up on 20 minutes here, making, you know, a smattering of lings and ultras, and I'm not really maxed out, but I'm up, you know, 163 to 116 overall in supply. And my army value is back up to a healthy 85, with these ultras popping soon. Yeah, this group of... I mean, I recognize he's just trying to poke out a little bit, and you know what? Fine, you can do that. And then I'm like, well, let's bust... Oh my gosh, that Widowmine hit! 33 kill Widowmine! <laughs> Without that Widowmine, this attack goes much better for me. 33 kill Widowmine. Pull back, lick my wounds, make 56 Zerglings, because when there's Widowmines out, make more Zerglings, man. Can I split like Rainer? No. Can I split like Serral? No. I'm going to take this bottom right base, though. I'm expanding like crazy. I'm very proud of that in this game, at least. If my macro isn't the best in the whole world, and my ability to use spellcasters is not the best in the whole world, maybe we'll try to make sure the macro is somewhat better than everything else. And there's just not enough room inside these medevacs for those units, I know. So I was like, whatever. You two liberators can't stop this from happening. Can't stop oh, that widow mine, though. It's a 46 kill widow mine. I knew Widow Mines were getting hits off here. I did not realize that one was so successful. So I run down to... Ah! I run down to the third base of He Hate Me. I'm like, alright, so that bunker's gonna die. Sure. And I'm trying to tell my guys to go inside this mineral line and kill more SCVs. Because winning this game is gonna be murdering the Terran economy. And that's what these lings are doing. While the Ultras are getting obliterated there, that is a total of 70 SCVs killed. There's... Four workers on the ground, and I am just constantly spending my cash. Only 500 minerals in the bank right now. This widow mine, 53 kill widow mine, doing all right for itself. This fourth base is a ghost town. The third base is a mule town to some extent. I'm trying to force a lift off on the orbital command here at the fourth base too, and I just have too much going on. Right, it's just too much here. This fetch rich specimen gas is helping immensely. I shouldn't have effed around, says he hate me. As he absolutely brutalizes an ultra list. Just kidding, the ultra list is running. Army value is 93 to 57. It's not great for me. So I'm like, all right, well, I can afford to lose this base because I'm pretty sure he doesn't know about the bottom right base. And losing one base here when I have a 60 to 4 worker advantage is going to be just fine. I recognize this is a last gasp, last ditch effort for he hate me. He feels like the game is lost. He's going to go for one more push and try to get the win, and I just bring the Banelings and just absolutely crush everybody here. Except for this Marauder and the handful of Widow Mines, which is only fair. Adrenal Gland Lingsman against Marauder is not going to do too poorly. They got two two upgrades. And Army Value is 52 to 57. Things Lings are rolling into the third base. The Liberator sets up, I don't know, the Liberator is trying to join the party, I guess, but man. There's just no mining happening at all here for He Hate Me. These Widow <laughs> Mines, your skins ruin the game. Don't forget, please. And GG. That's not a GG, but he leaves. And Falcon Paladin is your winner in 22 minutes of a pretty scraptastic, scrappy, scrappy, sloppy game from Falcon. Blah. So sure, I lose 65 drones, but I did kill 71 SCVs. That's pretty good. I lost one hatch. Fine. Reasonable. Lost 23 Ultralisks, which is so many Ultras. This resources loss should not result in a Terran loss. 38,000 resources lost to 24. That is enough to win a game as a TVZ, but he never really had the economy rolling that he needed to. He was late on his second. He was late on his third. He was kind of on time for his fourth, but then I was constantly attacking, and I was losing stuff to make that happen, yes. But it was worth, because I was slowing his economy down enough that I could afford to make bad trades from that point on and still win the game. 570 Zerglings died. I mean, bro. so yeah, this weird hybrid thing that he hate me was doing was not really going to work out for him. But he ended up with, I mean, Infernal Pre-Igniter, plus two, plus two for his Marines and Marauders, plus two vehicle attack, and plus two ship plating and vehicle plating, and transformation and servos. So good upgrades. I believe it said um, his rank is a Diamond 2, and I think I'm Diamond 3 right now, but whatever. I'm not sure the difference is that huge. His APM did end up being about 197 today. Mine was 176. So, I thought that was a pretty fun game. I figured I would go ahead and toss it up on the channel. I don't cast a lot of my own games, but... Yeah, this is how I play. <laughs> this is what I like to do. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, so that was fun. I think that was a fun game. I'm not sure it was epic tagged or anything close to it, but just typical kind of diamond TVZ with sloppiness and sloppy macro defeats better army compositions and probably better micro too in the end. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. The path of the